What is up YouTube and welcome to this DC fandom Wonder Woman 1984 trailer breakdown. So we finally got a brand new trailer for the movie which looks so very very good. I was just streaming but I had to cut it short because I've got so many videos to bring to you here. So before we break down this trailer please first do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a video. So we open with a shot of Diana, or at least a young Diana, entering the Amazonian Olympics. We see a massive shot of a huge satellite. Now, in my opinion, this is clearly how Maxwell Lord will be controlling Earth, as he wants to give everything everyone wants. In the trailer, we see Cheetah, played by Christian Wieg, getting really what she wants. Now, this is a bit of a long shot, but... I think that this could actually be the Brother Eye of the DC movie universe. Brother Eye was involved heavily in the whole Infinite Crisis madness. Brother Eye was set up by Batman as a way to monitor superhumans. However, Maxwell Lord took that over, who is being played by Pedro Pascal in the movie. And he actually used this to make the Omax. These were kind of human kind of robot hybrids that were infected with a virus and they were used to take down other superpower enhanced individuals. This was actually secretly controlled and manipulated by Alexander Luther as he was trapped in post-crisis on Infinite Earth worlds. That is just absolutely crazy. I don't think that will exactly happen, but I think we'll see him being, or at least using the idea of this, to spy and control on everything in the world. We see him controlling the world's media, so he will be a media magnate. I expect the, or at least he will be combined with those evangelical preachers and infomercial parasites that were so prevalent back then in the 80s. He has powers to bring everyone back from death, which is crazy, and that seems to be is what Diana actually wanted. She wanted Steve Trevor to return, and that's how he is returning. We see some badass shots of Wonder Woman as she's at the White House, and I expect that Maxwell Lord has somehow been made president, as we also see him on a uh, plane that has the presidential seal. Funny, a blonde guy giving false promises in the highest office in the land, and then hopefully getting ousted. How very apt. We see Cheetah face off against Wonder Woman as she started to get her powers. It looks like they are going to go with the new 52 version of Cheetah, aka Barbara Minerva, who was actually a corrupt version of Wonder Woman, or at least a opposite version of Wonder Woman. She was actually sort of a sidekick of Wonder Woman and an expert in ancient relics. And she also grew up in a commune, or at least a women's commune, called Amazonia, similar to Wonder Woman, except they don't have powers. She became possessed by the goddess of the hunt and was later turned into Cheetah, and that's how she got her powers. We see her in the trailer gradually become her comic book self, which is really interesting. As she fights Wonder Woman, and, well, I think that she fights her here on the satellite that Maxwell Lord has, and she is in her final form. The fight here is actually... Dino is wearing the Kingdom Come armor, which looks just absolutely awesome. And we know that the Kingdom Come world, or at least the Kingdom Come Superman, exists in the multiverse world, as they confirmed in DC Fandom that the multiverse does exist, and it will connect the TV and the movie world. Now, I fully expect that Lord will turn Cheetah, aka Barbara Minerva, against Wonder Woman and use her knowledge of relics to somehow broadcast this mind control or just use a version of Brother Eye, like I said at the start of the video. I think it's a really cool idea. The movie looks amazing and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. And I like the idea of using Diana's friends against her, which really, really works. And obviously playing into... The whole 1984 angle is interesting because it's a legendary book about control from the state and they also control the media. It's a globe-trotting adventure as we see her also in the desert with Steve Trevor wearing the Knight Cortez and, well, I think they might be there to unearth the relics mentioned. I think that Barbara will turn on Wonder Woman. They will be friends at the start. 
but she will eventually get what she wants and she's sort of like a Michelle Pfeiffer version of the Batman Catwoman there as well. But that's just a short video there. I've got so much to bring you from DC Fandom. Do subscribe for more as well and drop a like down below. And I'll see you soon and goodbye.